Hey guys, Jim Lovin here, and today what I have for you is some more Boom Beach gameplay. Today what I'm doing is pretty much taking back this resource base over here. Uh, well, not really taking back, kind of claiming it in a way, because what happened was uh, I pretty much upgraded my radar about, I don't know, about 10 hours ago or something like that, and... Like, I got it done and everything, so I thought it would be pretty cool to use the gold that I got from pretty much Operation Charleston that we just finished, uh, pretty much, we just finished about four or five hours ago. And I thought of using that gold from pretty much the Operation Boat to buy this land over here because of the radar upgrade and having extra land to buy. So I bought it and then I got this base here. And what's really funny about this certain base, guys, is you got the outpost right here with 14,000 HP, which is pretty crazy. If I had a little bit more maxed out, uh, pretty much, uh, gunboat, en like, if I had more gunboat energy and more maxed out, like, barrage and stuff like that, I could actually wipe this base down easily. So I thought of attacking it today, guys. So let's go ahead and attack it. We could use a warrior combo, but then again, I thought this would be a much better combo just to use on this base. So we'll try to first get rid of this boom cannon. I actually shouldn't have done that because I don't think we're going to get rid of that boom cannon. So instead what I'm going to do is actually just shock that area because I think that's going to be a little bit better. So let's just go ahead and attack that again. Uh, so I'll pretty much move it on this side for now, guys, uh, to take it. And then what I'll do is also send these guys in. At the exact same time, I'll shock this area right over here because it's it's pretty much causing a lot of damage to our troops. And then what I'm going to do is after I get rid of these, just these defenses generally... Uh, so, wait, wait for that to target once it does, stun it, okay, no, it destroyed one of my troops, okay, so, it's attacking over here, so what I'm gonna do is, pretty much destroy this, stun it again, go up here, send my troops up there, send a stun, uh, pretty much a smoke right over here to smoke the area, and then after that, we're gonna go ahead and pretty much send our troops here, hopefully target our little uh, guys over here, and then at the exact same time, I'm gonna go ahead and just send in our troops right here. Just sort of that base, come on. There we go, we got it. Okay, good, good, good. We should have used Warriors there, but then again, it's alright. So we got 18,000, um, pretty much wood, which was really, really good. And now I'm gonna get this base right over here, so we got everything upgraded. What is, everything is really good now, because now we got a level 10 boot cannon like before, but we got our, pretty much everything upgraded over here. So I'm gonna edit this base around, guys, because we have all our mines over here, which is not... Is not the best thing because nobody would raid from this angle. In that case, if there's all those mines over here, so it's it's not like the smartest thing. But then it's making this wall nobody would want to come through, which is really really good. So I'm probably gonna leave that over there. Uh, move this around a little bit so it can't be really targeted by barrages and in cases. Also, guys, we have all these trees here. I'm actually gonna steal this because I do really badly need um pretty much the wood from this, even though it's not the smart smartest tactical decision ever. But, um, if it does get claimed, I haven't got a resource base claimed in, I think, like, a month or something from somebody else. They haven't even attacked it. I think I got maybe one attack in 15 days on my resource base, but it failed. And, yeah, so nobody's attacking it. So, hopefully, nobody attacks this resource base either. So, let's just go ahead and claim all this. Uh, sorry, not claim it. Uh, dig all these trees and get that wood. So, we're at about... 30,000 wood right now, which is really good. Okay, so after I have that, I'm going to move this base around now. Because now we got a little bit of bigger area. So it's now level 18, which is good. So now it's like, warriors can't really get on it, which is really good now. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is pretty much make it anti-warrior. Because I wouldn't be surprised if people with warriors were trying to take this base. Um, so we'll go ahead and pretty much work on this a little bit. I want to go ahead and put pretty much these flamethrowers right over here. Put the boom cannon right here. Then what I'll do is with the saw, I'm going to remove that over after I just edit this area right over here. Um, we have some flamethrowers over here, so I'll bring one over there. Uh, this one's coming over here, so it should be like that. Awesome. We've got one more. And then what we'll do is we'll bring in the um, sniper towers. Actually, we'll move our motors right over here so that they pretty much take this part of the base. So there we go. Okay. They're in there, and this one's in there, too. So now we got all these sniper towers and all these mines. So I'll move the mines later. Mines will take too long to move. Uh, but I don't want to bunch it up, so I'm going to move this so that it can't be shocked. Um, so we'll move it like this two away. And then I think it's about... Kind of the rest don't really matter, to be honest, over here. So we'll just pretty much put them around here. Um, 
and that should be good. And then what I'll do, yeah, this is this is pretty perfect. I think it's not it's not bad. It's like warrior protection because a lot of people are using warriors at my level now to try to get bases. And then this, I guess I'll put it right over here. And yeah, that should be pretty good. Now we'll really quickly just grab these mines, I guess, and just throw them in here. Uh, pretty much they're just going to go around the base and stuff like that. So if somebody manages to pretty much uh, get into this base using, probably they'll have to use medics and stuff like that if they really want to get through this base. Um, so if they end up doing that, then um, pretty much this will, the mines will like stop some of their troops and stuff like that. So let's just move all these mines here. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we got those and we got these mines. So we're just finishing up with the mines, guys, now. Should take just about a second. Oh, I hate moving mines. They're so annoying. Uh, so there's, there's some more. Okay, so what we're doing with the mines, guys, is the rest of them. I'll try to put them more in the center. So if somebody does a warrior combo, the worlds will get seriously damaged. That probably they'll lose so much. Or they'll lose all of them because they usually run in a straight line or a relatively straight line that we should be able to just, uh, sorry, the mines should be able to uh, just take them down if they are like that. And so let's just go ahead and get the final mines over here. Put a few on the sides just in case somebody tries to go on the sides with like some warriors or something like that. I don't want them to go on the sides. Um, so they may try to do it like this, that they go in the back because I've seen a few people go in the back while they do it um, so there we go that looks like a perfect base actually and now let's just go ahead and remove this wood over here from these trees for final wood so now we're about out oh, about at um, probably at about 32,000 so yeah that's a pretty cool uh, resource base now guys it's a level 32 I believe uh, so that is definitely really good 33 oh that's pretty cool 33 what do you know that was like 31 before um, so, yeah, that is actually really amazing, guys. Um, so, yeah, that is pretty much it for this video, guys, on pretty much how to capture a resource space really successfully and, like, edit it to pretty much allow it to be anti-warrior protection. Uh, like, it's, it doesn't let warriors pretty much go in. And then also, it's pretty good and defensive if somebody has, like, healers, uh, sorry, medics, and just a ton of troops in general, then that, that, base definitely helps against those um so that yeah that is pretty much it for this video guys hope you enjoyed it if you did a like would really be appreciated and if you really enjoyed this video guys make sure to the subscribe button and make sure to apply to the jimbo oven craft network for a 70 percent revenue share but that's to me guys this has been jimbo oven and i'll see you guys later bye